Hi, this is Gary Rosignol, and I'm Vice Chair of the Realtor of the Year Committee this year. And this Friday is the deadline to get your applications in for anyone deserving of being Realtor of the Year Sales or Realtor of the Year Manager. The difference between Realtor of the Year Sales and Manager is that the Realtor of the Year Sales must not be involved in any kind of management at all, strictly sales. They must all be active members of the Board of Realtors in good standing for the past five years, must not have been involved in any kind of violation uh, of the Code of Ethics. Uh, they must also be involved in the, um, in their, the Cincinnati Area Board of Realtors and some committees, activities, or special assignments. And also, we, we would really be helpful if they were involved in some community active uh, charitable committees or something of that nature. So if you know anyone in your office who is deserving of this very fine award, get their name in to us by this Friday. And next, here's a few folks who are past recipients of this award and they'll tell you what they think about it. Is, uh, I'm vice chair of the Realtor of the Year Committee, so I'll be chairman next year and, and we're, we're taking applications now. So go back to your office and if you know anybody who would be deserving to be Realtor of the Year, you need to let us know about that. That's, that's a pretty high honor. Yeah, I was uh, real happy to get that. Shocked. Were you shocked? Yes. <laughs> I think everybody is when they get it. I mean, there's 5,000 or more agents out there, and they only get out of work once a year, so I was pretty, uh, pretty excited about that. Be named Realtor of the Year. Well, I think it's just validation that you're doing things professionally and. Uh, you know, it's not just about your success in sales, it's also about um, what you give back to your profession and the community. And so, it's quite an honor. It's a one-time award, only one agent wins of the year, and uh, I was thrilled to win it, and uh, I'm definitely thankful that I, I had that opportunity. Right. Now, yes. 2005, you were named Realtor of the Year. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> they had changed, it was actually the beginning of 05, um, Oh, oh, six, this. right. And they had, they changed how they did it. So Pete and I have the distinction of being the two together. Exactly. Name two oh five. Right, right. What did it mean to you to be honored with Realtor of the Year? Uh, it's uh, <laughs> it's just nice to be appreciated and uh, be chosen. To think somebody thinks that much of you as. You're chosen by your peers, and that was nice to have somebody think I deserved it. Mm -hmm. so, and there was a lot of deserving people, and there was a lot of people that are very deserving. But they only get one award out each year. You know, that's something you might, might want to change. You know, get two of those out, <laughs> <laughs> or three. What, what yeah, it's did a it, wonderful honor. Yeah, what, what did it mean to you, be um, Again, like Pete, I've just felt so honored that my peers would vote me that as, as Realtor of the Year. Mm -hmm. um, I always believe in giving back and have done that ever since before real estate. And it is so nice to be recognized for both doing that and for professionalism. And of course it also deals with how our, our sales volume as well. So mm -hmm. it was quite an honor and I was really very happy. Great, thank you.